Today we're going to see how much sweet, sweet ETB value we can generate in standard by blinking our team every turn when the heroes resolve, hopefully with an Elish Norn mother of machines on the battlefield. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Afrada Liv, and it is time to play some new standard, and we got a deck today that I'm really excited about. We're playing a deck built around a card I've been wanting to play since Aftermath Spoiler Season, and that is Nahiri's Resolve, this really sweet enchantment that blinks our team every turn, pumps our creatures, give them haste. It is exactly my kind of card. The problem is, before the recent bannings, Nahiri's Resolve in essentially any deck built around big expensive enchantments that need to sit on the battlefield were essentially soft banned by Invoke Despair. You just couldn't build a deck around cards like this because you would play your Nahiri's Resolve and then your opponent would cast Invoke Despair like 50% of the time or something because so many decks are playing that card and just kill your Nahiri's Resolve and Wrath your board and hit you for damage and draw cards. It was absolutely miserable. But now that Invoke is gone, we can go all in on the Nahiri's Resolve plan, and the end result is a deck that is super sweet. So Nahiri's Resolve, five man enchantment, creatures we control get plus one plus zero and have phase. More importantly, on our end step, we can exile any number of non-token artifacts or creatures we control, and they come back into play on our next upkeep. So that last ability, it does two things. First, it lets us dodge sweepers and sorcery speed removal. We can just blink our whole team if our opponent has a farewell or something. What do we care? Our team's in exile, coming back on our next turn anyway. More importantly, it's a way we can reuse all of our ETBs every turn. So we're really a Panharmonicon deck we're Nahiri's Resolve, Elish Norn, Mother of Machines dot deck. Uh, Elish Norn just doubles up our ETBs. So the idea of our deck is we're just playing a million ETBs that draw us cards. And we generate value in other ways. But like Ambitious Farmhand draws us a Plains. Spirited Companion draws us a card. Circuit Mender gains us life when it leaves the battlefield we get to draw a card. Extraction Specialist gets back Farmhand or Spirited Companion. Combat Thresher, actually hilarious in this deck. We can get it into play for three mana thanks to Prototype and draw a card. And then if we blink it with Nahiri's Resolve, Resolve, it comes back fully powered as a 3-3 double striker and draws us another card. Sanctuary Warden for tokens and cards. Italies technically draws us two cards and we get to cast him for free. And that's the plan of the deck. We just play all these ETB creatures, find our Elish Norn, find the Hero's Resolve, blink our entire team every turn, and just generate a ridiculous amount of ETB value. Plus, because the Hero's Resolve gives our team haste, we still get to attack with these creatures. We get to blink them all and then still attack with them the next turn, which is really powerful. We also have some ETB removal. A twin Shot Sniper, probably the sneakiest card in our deck because it works with the Hero's Resolve. It's essentially like Bone Crusher Giant at home. I'm not sure why people don't play this card like bone crusher giant was one of the best creatures in its standard format twin shot sniper not quite as good but it's kind of similar like we can channel it for two damage for two mana or we can hard cast it for four mana is a two three with reach that does two damage with its etb so kill stuff early kill stuff and stays on the battlefield late plus it works with the heroes yourself ossification touches spirit realms don't actually work with the heroes resolve but they do work with elish nord if we got mom out we can double remove things plus touches spirit realm can flicker our stuff to protect our team soul partition a little bit of extra removal we also have one invoke justice just for value i don't know i wanted to try it out i was actually honestly worried the decks would be blowing up nahiri's resolve a lot but it seems like with invoke gone there's not that much enchantment removal so i don't even know if we need to be playing invoke justice mana base pretty straightforward a bunch of dual lands roadside working for card draw in the sideboard a bunch more removal unlicensers for graveyard stone brain to deal with stuff like italies and atroxes and that is nahiri Hiri's Resolve for our new post ban standard format. That's our deck for today, so let's jump into some games and see how much ETB value we can get by blinking our team every turn with the Hiri's Resolve, hopefully with Elish Norn on the battlefield. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit for the wrap-up. Need any Hiri's Resolve? Well, you can snag one and more from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. Mulliganing. Trying to do cool things with Nahiri's Resolve. Eh, we'll keep this. We got the Nahiri's Resolve, which is nice. Ambitious Farmhand can ramp us into it. Hopefully we get some more things to add to the battlefield. Oh boy, okay. Looks like, looks like control. Dark Slick Shore is almost always control. So good news is, if we can get down Nahiri's Resolve. Eh, okay, maybe it's Esper. 
If we can get down to Huri's Resolve, it should be really, really good. Whether or not we can actually get down to Huri's Resolve, that's, uh, that's a whole nother question. Well, hit our bonus best turn. Cathar Commando. All right, so some sort of flash, flash control style deck. Opponent. Phyrexian Flesh Gwaja. Well, play the land, Twin Blade Sniper. Snipe the Commando. No attacks. All right, next turn's a big one. Next turn's a big one. Can we resolve into Hiri's uh, Rafine? All right, Rafine is super obnoxious. Opponent gonna go attacking, gonna discard. Yeah, can't do anything about that. We dropped to 13. We want to do fun things, but I don't know if we can do fun things here now that we're getting snowballed by Rafine. Ossification. Get rid of Rafine. Play the land. I expect Rafine to be maybe the best card, maybe the best creature in standard now. I think Rafine, Esper definitely... This is the deck that, that people have talked about as being perhaps the, the scariest opponent. Going to back up the Flesh Gorger, goes to combat attacks. Yeah, the Arch Fiend is a problem. Hit the Flesh Gorger, lose our board. Yeah, the question's gonna be what removal does our opponent have? Channel to kill the Flesh Gorger, take five. I mean, I guess this is it. Elish Norn, see if it survives. If it doesn't survive, we we essentially just lose. Flash Gorger comes back for free and we're done. Sadly, we have to chump with Elish Norn if we get the chance, which is pretty brutal. Haven't seen Archfiend to Shadows. Yeah, I mean, if they kill Elish Norn, we, we concede. <sighs> well, I mean, I guess technically we traded our five drop for our opponent's five drop. Urborg Scavengers. Well, that's, that's some spice. I wish we could have, wish we could have played the Sanctuary War and that would have been good. All right, I guess next turn. Got to do it on, do it on hard mode. Opponent. Oh, God almighty. Well, I will say, Pona's deck looks pretty cute. They don't have a flyer, thankfully. But I mean, we're still just losing. So we have to jump. Pona passes. Sanctuary Warden. Draw a card. Play the land. Pass the turn. Oh, we were so close. Attacks, attacks. Scavenger's going off. Block and also block. Opponent, Urtai to kill the Sanctuary Warden. I mean, we are removal or bust at this point. Well, that is removal. Let's see if it resolves. That does give us hope though. Uh, ossification. If we get rid of the scavengers, it's game on. All right, scavengers, thank God. Out of here. Spirited companion, draw a card. Yeah, let's pass. I think we cycle the Jetmere's Gardens. Oh, this is, is close. Oh no, Fury Mastermind. Opponent goes to combat, attacks. Plays a land. Well, cycle Jetmere's Gardens, but this motley pile of Esper creatures might be getting it done. One, two, oh boy, we're one land short. Yeah, that's one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we only get to do one thing. That one thing will be Twin Shot Sniper, which is legitimately good here. Twin Shot Sniper. See if our opponent activates to draw some cards. They do, so they draw two, we draw one. Our one is a land. Pass the turn. About it, adapts. Even more flesh gorgers. When it goes attacking, we will block. Combat Thresha. Well, uh, Elish Norn. Combat Thresher. Draw two. Play the land. Pass the turn. We're back to being dead to many things, though. Concealing curtains, opponent going to activate and take some Heroes Resolve. We get an Ossification, which is good, but block, block, block. We need this to die. If they can kill the Elish Norn, we're super sad. Okay. <laughs> somehow we're remaining alive. I don't know how, but somehow we are remaining alive in this game. Opponent, Urborg Scavengers, thankfully. 
thankfully we drew an ossification and an oh my goodness alish norn play the land oh my goodness we're getting back i cannot believe we're in this game the deck can grind the deck can grind scavengers also revealing eye combat thrasher draw a couple cards and I think we actually get to start attacking. Have we turned a corner? Have we overcome the Esper Rock? Wow. Rafine. Okay. Scary card, but we have an answer. We got an answer. And we're untapping with a mom. Draw two. Three. Touch the spirit realm. Yes, 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 we do need to target it. Pay the one. Okay, we only gotta pay the one once, right? Okay, decline. Play a, wow, I cannot believe we're, I thought we were dead like 10 turns ago. The power of Elishnorn, the Panharmana power. I mean, we still are at three. We still gotta find a way to close out this game. But thin the deck, thin the deck. Play the land, go to combat, smack ya. We got enough blockers, even if they have an Urtai or something. This is where a Nihiri's Resolve would be one of the most absurd things you could imagine in Standard. Like, it would be, oh, it would be so good. Come on, Magic Gods. Come on, Magic Gods. Another Flesh Gorger. Well, that does make it a little worse. We're gonna have to do some blocking. Well, sack the Reliquary draw to you. Oh, we got some stuff. We got some stuff. Extraction Specialist. Double Triggers. Spirited Companion. And also Ambitious Farmhand. Yes, yes. Thin the deck. Get those planes. Get a planes. And also get a planes. And then draw a couple cards. What do we find from the good boy? Ambitious Farmhand and a land. Oh, well, play the land. Yeah, we can't really attack. Pass the turn. Discard a land. All right. Thalia, sure. We can do some blocking. We can also flip these ambitious farmhands to finally gain some life. Farmhand flipped. Farmhand flipped. Untap. Reliquary. Draw. We have so many lands in hand. Draw a couple cards. Oh, we have almost went through our entire deck, haven't we? That's actually kind of frightening. Play a farm hand. We have a lot of, a lot of our bombs on the bottom of our deck. Both the tallies and three of our Nahiri's res uh, resolves all on the bottom. Discard even more lands. 16 cards in the deck. An opponent, er, Borg Scavengers. That one's not gonna do as much, at least, yeah, opponent. All right, well, cycle, cycle Jamir's Gardens. We're gonna find the good cards eventually, we have to. There, oh my goodness, there it is, there it is. The only problem is milling out now is a concern. Flip the farm hand. that's, okay, a tally. That's a good one. That's a good one. We finally found an Itali. So, well, spin it to win it, spin it to win it. What do we find? Uh, Cathar Commando. And I think, oddly, we decline. <laughs> we're getting we're getting scared of milling out now. Fairy Mastermind. Invoke Justice. Sniper. Pay the one. This one. There we go. Here and here. Let's Let's do it like that. Okay, and now we get four damage, so we get to shoot the scavengers and the Thalia out of here. And I think we are gonna win this game. Now we get to go to combat. Now we actually get to gain a bunch of life, which is pretty sweet. Scoops it up. Wow! Wow, 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 wow. I can't believe we got back in that game. I cannot believe we got back in that game. We were so far behind. Our opponent had a really nice little ravine curve out. I thought we were dead for sure. We didn't really get to see the Hero's Resolve fully go off, but we did get to draw our entire deck and uh, <laughs> do some sweet mom stuff. 
Lithomancer Barrage, obviously really good against our opponent's deck. Sniper actually seems pretty good. We can probably trim like a Circuit Mender, maybe an Invoke Justice. That's probably not necessary. Alishorn actually seems good if we can get it to stick. That's always the, always the question. Can we actually make it stick? <clears throat> maybe we gotta go two moms. Maybe three's too much against this deck. Or else maybe we just go down, maybe we go Winosification. They do have a lot of removal. I could also see an argument for Graveyard Hate, like bringing the hearses. Our opponent did have a lot of, a lot of reanimation stuff that was a little scary. The, the backup reanimation thing, that, Oh, that was really close to just getting us. Like we almost just straight up lost to the backup reanimation five drop. Let's go one ossification, one hearse. Yeah, I think we have, let's go two moms. I think we gotta go two moms. I think the graveyard hate's probably, probably more important than a third Elish Norn. We'll see. Well, opponents on the play. They're playing Esper, but spicy, I would say. Oh, two, double Oath of Mantras Barrage. Esper, but spicy or spicier. Esper, but spicier than normal. A uh, bonnet land and passes. Well, play land. Spirited companion. Oh, woof woof. A bonnet. Phyrexian flesh guaja. Yeah, I mean we just gotta gotta kill it. Take the three. Ossification. Get rid of the flesh gorger. Play a land. Hit you for one. We might actually get to get down resolve this game. It seems like it's trending that direction. Hopefully, Rafine. Well, we have a clean answer to that. Lithomancer's Barrage. We will not pay the one. Can't be countered anyway. Out of here, Rafine. Yeah, Lithomancer's Barrage, I think, is going to be a pretty pretty important sideboard card in our new standard format. Opponent. Urborg Scavengers. Sure. Thankfully, doesn't get the ward. Oh, it doesn't even eat the Rafine. Okay. Opponent passes. Hmm, so we can't Barrage that anyway. We'll play the land. Nahiri's Resolve. Blank the Spirited Companion. Here comes the value, Terror. A uh, train. Can we get rid of the Scavenger? Opponent. Eats the Rafine. Hits us for four. We got a Ninja? Wow, they do. Okay. We're actually kind of okay with this. <laughs> we are kind of okay with this. We would rather not be getting snowballed by the Scavenger. We get back our Spirited Companion. Things with ETBs, that counts. I'm gonna lay down arms. Well, play the land. Get rid of Biting Palm Ninja. Sniper, snipe ya. Hasted in, hit ya. Blink them both. And this is where Nahiri's Resolve feels so good. It's like the endless value train. Now imagine we also have Elish Norn. Ooh. Scavengers returns. Our creatures come back. Trigger, trigger. Shoot the scavengers. Ooh, draw a combat thresher and a farmhand. Wow, that is that is spectacular. Farmhand. Get a planes. And play the land. Barrage. Get rid of the scavengers. Thrasher. Oh, Nahiri's Resolve, Nahiri's Resolve. Hit ya for a bunch with haste. End of turn, pick them all up. Everyone, here go. <laughs> we're doing it and we're not getting invoked despaired. We're not getting invoked despaired. It actually can work. The Resolve actually, oh boy, that was good. The Resolve actually stuck and you could see the power. Like that's the snowball that the Resolve allows like it, yes we get the little value of like oh we blink a spirited companion to get things set up but once you get to this position we're dodging wrath every turn we're getting an absurd amount of etb value every turn we're throwing damage at your face every turn and eventually it just becomes overwhelming like if you can't deal with the resolve eventually we're just gonna kill all your stuff and and, and sooner or later gonna kill you too so yeah that that is the nihiri's resolve dream for sure oh that was a good one that was a really good one sweet sweet New standard time. Now that uh, enchantments are unbanned <laughs> because Invoke Despair is gone, we are seeing if we can do some uh, sweet, sweet Elish Norn. Elish Norn, um, yeah, let's farmhand. Nahiri's Resolve shenanigans. Uh, grab a planes. This hand's sweet. We don't have Nahiri's Resolve, but otherwise this hand's pretty sweet. Planes for our opponent. I'm gonna play a land and Spirited Companion. 
draw a land. Oh, and the Heroes Resolve would be so good. It would be so good. Plays of Plains. Restoration of Ganjo. I figure now that this is going to be in standard for another another whole year because they canceled rotation. I guess I gotta. I guess I gotta <laughs> learn how to say it correctly. Again, Joe. Yeah. Can't say it the fun way. See, Wizards, canceling rotation, it, it ruins everything. <laughs> it ruins everything. Now I have to pronounce a Ganjo correctly. I blame you, Watsy. I blame you. If we still had rotation, I could keep pronouncing it wrong and everything would be fine, but now. <laughs> opponent discards eight Skrelves Hive. Soitenly. And depopulate, which is actually kind of fine. I think we just run out Elishnorn. And if we get to untap with Elishnorn, next turn's gonna be really good. We can double extraction specialist for oh I don't even I don't even want to think about the value we will generate. Opponent. Alright. Going to keep wrathing. That is a lot of wrath. I will give our opponent credit for that. Well, extraction specialist, get a spirited companion, draw a card. Play Ambitious Farmhand. You know what's really good against Wraths? Just saying, uh, Nahiri's re Resolve, blinking all of your stuff at <laughs> to keep it off the battlefield is actually very good against a deck that's just trying to Wrath and Wrath and Wrath. <gasps> Invasial, what? I've never seen this card before. It's like the worst winning announcement ever. Opponent transforms. I mean, we will block with extraction. What is our opponent up to? You know what? Sure, hit it for hit it for three. That's fine. Twin shot sniper. Well, all right. Itali, find us a Nahiri's resolve, please. Well, invasion of Gabacon. Ossification. Well, let's ossify. Oh, we have to hit our opponent's stuff. All right. I was gonna. I was actually considering hitting our own Itali and then soul partitioning it. Well, take the depopulate. What happens if we flip this? Does our opponent get it? Let's find out. Hopefully, no. Our right, opponent's gonna block. I assume they're gonna wrath. Depopulate. Wraths for days and days. Want well, one, two, three, four. Twin shot sniper. Hit our opponent for two. Sundown pass, and I think we just cracked this reliquary now, so we're guaranteed to draw two. All right, two not very helpful cards, but they are cards, technically. Opponent plays a planes in wedding announcement and makes a token. Play a circuit mender and a roadside reliquary and crack the roadside reliquary to draw a couple of cards. Where are our Nahiri's resolves? Okay, there's one. Okay, so next turn we actually found it. Okay, yeah, let's just pass. Ooh, all right, the values, the value's about to come. The value's about to come. We finally found the Nahiri's resolve opponent. Sure. I mean, a lot of wedding announcements is somewhat scary. Wow, they want to draw cards. Okay, well, block and block. Opponent's gonna draw two. But we finally get to uh, get down Nahiri's Resolve, which is huge. Nahiri's Resolve. Should we try it? It's so, you know what? We're not gonna try it. Let's just go face. I'm gonna have to Google this. I don't know why I'm so scared. I don't know why I'm so scared of this uh, going wrong. Uh, play the Jatmir's Gardens, end of turn, Nahiri's Resolve. Blink and blink, draw because of Circuit Mender. Wrath away, friend, wrath away. Opponent gonna scrawl down to three. Oh, they're kind of dying to their own cards. Yeah, I actually, I don't know. The thing that makes me worried is the fact that you have to exile it. That that concerns me. Yeah, bounce the token, I guess. Abundant. This should just be game though, right? Like our creatures come back. We hit our opponent for two. And then they lose to their own scrawl's hive. The batter, the batter blossom, hit your face. 
I guess we don't even have to get to that point. We can just <laughs> cast another Dream Blade Sniper, and that went pretty well. That went pretty well. Well, uh, Lauren in for sure. Destroy evil in for sure. Okay, now we gotta try to Google this. The the part that scares me is the exile part, because I know that's messed me up with other transform cards in the past. When they exile, but if you read this, when it's defeated, exile it, and then cast it transformed, that would be us, right? Like, we would be the one that would cast it transformed. I don't know, if we get another chance to do it, I think we go for it, but I am, um, I actually don't know. I don't know how it's gonna, how it's gonna work. We'll get a one Elish Norn. Our opponent doesn't seem particularly susceptible to Elish Norn. And maybe one Ossification? Maybe two Ossifications. Do we need a Brothers Hood End? Let's try it like that. Well, I mean, that was sweet. Nahiri's resolve is, oh, I'm so happy about these bannings. Like, I wish there were even more bannings, but I'm so happy that with Invoke Despair gone, you can actually play a card. You can actually play a card like Nahiri's resolve, and there's some percent chance that it actually stays on the battlefield. Like, yes, there's still enchantment removal. There's still things people can do that can, uh, that can destroy it, but it is way more likely to stick around than it was in the past. What do they take here? Like, Itali is obviously the most powerful card, but that's, that's several minutes away. Maybe an argument for farmhand? Yeah. Opponent goes with farmhand. Oh, there's resolve. Well, play the land and pass the turn. So we need a land to get to the farmhand to get to the Nihiri's Resolve to have fun. Wedding announcement for our opponent. Sure. Now untap, play the land, Lauren. Get rid of the wedding announcement. Can we find a land? Opponent plays a land and? Yeah, we're not gonna block. We actually might draw with Lauren if we don't hit a land, which we don't. All right, everyone's drawing. Oh, we still don't hit a land. Uh, Well, circuit mender then. Yeah, we're making this look hard. We really needed this ambitious farmhand, apparently. Uh, boom, Elspeth Resplendent. Oh, I thought they were gonna take up and flip the Gabicon, but instead, they take down, get a restoration of a Ganjo. I mean, this does mean, ideally, we draw land and kill the Elspeth, but we get to kill it either. Well, I mean, I guess we can just attack the Elspeth to death. Well, we're definitely playing ambitious farmhand to get a planes. So we get the planes, we play the planes, go to combat. Yeah, I mean, if they kill the Lauren, I guess that's fine at this point. Opponent knows that we're drawing cards with this. So I think they, <laughs> they're thinking if they wanna leave it around just so we keep activating it, which we probably will, because we do need to hit our land drops. Opponent gonna do a little rampage, sure. I mean, worst case, we can finally play this ambitious farmhand to get a land, Elspeth part two. What are we doing with it? Takes it, wow, okay, takes it down again. Gets a invasion of Benelon, okay. Cards, cards for everyone, we need our lands. Well, discard sniper, kill the knight. Okay, there's a land. Oh, oh do we just need Hiri's resolve? Oh, but we need to kill the Elspeth. Well, play the land for sure. Oh, and Hiri's resolve is so sweet. We draw a card, we get a land, we get to redo Lauren. All right, let's 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 do it this way. Attack Elspeth, attack Elspeth. Elspeth dies. But now we get to Nahiri's resolve and start the real fun. Blink them both. Draw a card with Circuit Mender. Soul Partition's not bad. I almost wonder if this deck should play more Soul Partitions. It works pretty well as a way to bounce our own stuff to save it. All right, opponent, I'm gonna get rid of the Nahiri's Resolve. Annoying, but fine. Like, our stuff still comes back. Opponent passes. Our creatures return. We get a Plains. And we'll find another one eventually. Play the land. Ambitious Farmhand to get a land. This is gonna set us up for a Tally next turn, I think. And then probably just ossify the Architect. I don't know about this invasion of Belladon. Does not seem especially impressive. Three mana for a 2-2, two -two, and then you flip it into an Anthem. That just seems like, and it's five loyalty. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. All right, farewell. There goes everything. Ooh, but there's an Elish Norn. Well, play the land. We're gonna Elish Norn. We're going, we're going max value. Elish Norn. <laughs> Pass the turn. If our opponent tries to kill it, we can touch the Spirit Realms, and then we can untap and 
maybe double something? Sanctuary Warden or a tally? Our opponent's gonna scoop. They're definitely gonna scoop. Mom is back. Spirited Companion, draw two because we got mom. Play a land. Uh, Spirited Companion, draw two more because we still have mom. <laughs> I do love Panermonicons. And then let's just Twin Blade Sniper. Snipe you for four. Because we have a mom. And then hit you for four. And that was a that was a decent turn. That was a decent turn. <laughs> Scoops it up. Well, we only got to keep Nahiri's resolve around for a minute. And that's a good example of what I was saying, honestly. Like, it's much more likely to stick now that Invoke Despair is gone, but there's still answers. Like, it's not like a enchantment's guaranteed to stick. There's just a chance now. Before, when like 40, 50% of decks were playing Invoke Despair, you just, you couldn't do this. I tried. I actually, as soon as Aftermath released, this was the first deck I built and tested, and it, it just, it couldn't work. It just couldn't work. But now it can kind of work, which is sweet. I want to keep it because it's got a lot of power, but I feel like if we keep this hand, odds are relatively high we do literally nothing and die. We're going to try... Who mulligans? Mull mulligans. Uh, my name is Seth, after all. I ascribe to the Seth Mansfield theory of mulliganing, which is never, under any circumstances, no matter how correct it might be. <laughs> Teaching the... Oh, Enchantress? Yeah. Okay. How about a two-drop? Could use a two-drop. Okay, okay. I mean, we're, we're only we're only four lands away. Only four lands away from a tally. And then we're good. Opponent. Two. Ooh, another teachings of the Karen. I really don't want to spend a ossification on a spirit token, but that might be... That might be necessary. Opponent hits us. Well, ambitious farmhand. Get a land. This is actually a pretty huge draw. So we get a land. Unfortunately, we are going to ossify the... The audacious spirit token. Um, this works out well, though, because now, in theory, we can block with the farmhand and then extraction special it back to get land number five. If we draw land, we can just play Elishorn, and Elishorn, I think, sort of, assuming they don't have Hallowed Haunting going, I think sort of wrecks them. The opponent goes attacking. We're definitely blocking. We want it in the graveyard. Not a land, so extraction specialist. <laughs> nice. Get back a Plains and an ambitious Farmhand. Play the land past the turn. Okay, we just need lands. We just need lands. That's all we need. All we need is lands. I mean, this hand is legit busted if we get to cast our cards. Opponent. I feel like Elish Norn is probably really good against our opponent's deck. Opponent flips. Jukai Naturalist. Superior Companion to draw a card. And attacks. Okay, deck. Land, land in a land. Land in a land. That's it. That's all we need. Land in a land. We're good. Opponent hits us for four, no blocks. Well, that is a land. So play the land. Oh, this is this is tough. Yeah, Elishnorn. All right. Delayed gratification. Setting up for next turn, hopefully. I feel like our opponent's removal should not work against Elishnorn. It should all be enchantment based and i don't think there's any enchantment removal that actually deals with elish norn no attacks not a land though but we do get to sanctuary warden double trouble remove a counter and remove a counter there's the land no attacks all right bodies are stacking up opponent wedding announcement oh my goodness are we untapping with this and the nahiri's resolve <gasps> are we gonna double in a tally next that's not gonna work we got mom you can't ossify a mom phone it plays a land and wedding and oh i feel a scoop coming i feel a scoop coming ah! <laughs> all right all right all right apparently we can beat enchantress i can't believe that keep actually paid off even against an aggro deck we kept the like all seven drop hand with two lands and we beat enchantress i don't know i don't know how that happened i don't know how that happened well we're gonna bring in more removal i guess i could even see an argument for brothers hood end if we have them early enough, it's good. The question is, what are we cutting? So Elish Norn seems amazing. We get on an invoke. Is Barrage good enough? It kills Calyx. Eh, maybe we don't want all the barrages. Maybe that's excessive. Yeah, maybe maybe we don't want all those barrages. That might be too much. Plus, we have the snipers. We actually kind of have a lot of removal. 
Mom seems unbeatable. Boy, I don't know what to cut here. Surrogate Mender's one of our good against aggro cards. Maybe we don't bring in any barrages? Just bring in stuff that can kill enchantments? I guess we can like go down an extraction specialist. Yeah, go down one extraction specialist, one circuit mender, and you know, one Italy. Let's do it like that. Game number two against Enchantress. I still don't know how we won that last one. Ooh, I like this hand. All right, this hand seems good. We got the Lauren and we got the Mom. I wonder, after sideboarding, does the Lesney Enchantress have a way to beat Mom? I'm almost guessing that the answer is still no. Generous Visitor. I almost think the answer is no. Like, obviously they can just snowball and win, but I'm not guessing, I don't think they would have much removal. Well, Ambitious Farman. Grab a Blains. Pass the turn. Oh, Spirited Companion, we want one of those. Yep, grows visitor, draws a card, does not find a land, goes attacking, no blocks. All right, more lands. Well, play the land. I guess we just Spirited Companion. I don't, or Ambitious Farman. I don't really want to just blow up the Spirited Companion. Our opponent's Enchantress, so I feel like we theoretically want to have a better target for our Lauren than that. Like a wedding announcement or Hallowed Haunting or even a, all right, more Spirited Companions. Yup, about it. Ooh, audacity as well. Yeah, that's a scary start. Well, double block a, wow, this feels horrible. Double block a spirited companion. Drop to 12. Soul partition's decent. Play the land, and I think we just do this right now. Opponent gets to draw a card, but we get rid of the, get rid of the dork. It's three mana to recast, and this sets us up to untap and play Elishnorn, and then all of our cards become super powered, and I really think it's unlikely that our opponent's gonna be able to kill it. Spirit Companion, goes attacking, hits us. Well, we'll see. The moment of truth, there's Elishnorn. Do you have some sneaky way of dealing with it that's not an enchantment? This also stops Calyx from constellationing. No. Wow. That, yep, that that does do something, sort of. Wow, this Elishorn is ruining our opponent's our opponent's day. Uh how about two Lorens? How do we feel about that? Uh blow up the Calyx and blow up the saga. And then, yeah, sorry about it. <laughs> I will say, not only does Nahiri's resolve get better as a result of these bannings, but I think maybe Elish Norn gets better as a result of these bannings. The new meta, like, if Enchantress is a, a tier deck that a lot of people are playing, Elish Norn seems to just absolutely ruin its day. Like, <laughs> yes, it is It is very nice, but and I agree. I do agree. But I don't know if this deck can beat Elish Norn unless they're already, like, super far ahead on board. Like, they just, they really can't remove it and a lot of their cards don't work we would like to draw a non-land we have a lot of lands in hand a lot of that's ambitious farming but still now go to combat attack attack and we will flip the farmer hit our opponent play a planes i think well we probably will draw with lauren but i think we want to wait till our opponent's end step discards a land what are they going for? Teachings, audacity probably, yeah. The audacity's good if they never get a Calyx going. Like, that is a enchantment on a creature to to uh, start copying things. Discards land, yup. And generous visitor. All right, opponent, I feel bad that we're we're wrecking your game plan. Oh yes, that's card draw, that is card draw. Okay, spirited companion draw two. That's what we were looking for. <laughs> Where's the Nahiri's resolve? Where's the Nahiri's resolve? Oh God. Oh, this is so brutal. Oh my goodness, this is so brutal. Oh, this is so, so good. Naturalist visitor. We are essentially just building our own wrath here. Yeah, do it again. How about a spirited companion and a spirited companion and how about no creatures? You get to draw a card. Opponent is switched from nice to oops. Takes the big beating. And uh, yeah, pass, pass the turn. And this one looks pretty over. Yeah, Elish Norn. Well, they do get to flip their sagas. 
Elishorn seems like almost a free win against Enchantress. Again, assuming they're not already too far ahead on board. Like, if you get it down fast enough. Ooh, there's the Hollowed Haunting. Okay, that does maybe change things. Oh, opponent. Well, you get to make a... You do get to make a spirit. All right, let's... Touch the spirit realm. Actually, okay, we gotta do it this way. Draw a card. Touch the spirit realm. Blink the Lauren. Oh. Do we draw them into the audacity? Maybe it doesn't do it. So Lauren returns. Blow up a restoration. Blow up a hollow taunting. Yeah, so I guess we don't just win yet. Actually, just kidding. Twin, twin blade sniper. <laughs> Bone crusher giant has made its return, and <laughs> mom is a uh, mom is killing it. Mom is killing it. <laughs> well, that was that was good. I love this deck. Oh, maybe it's finally Panharmonicon's time to shine. New standard time. We are uh, Nahiri's resolving, and uh, <laughs> so far so good. We have our two coolest cards, but these are our sweet cards. I'll show Nahiri's resolve, but we don't do anything for a very long time. Well, this is fine. What do we put to the bottom, though? I guess a tally. Let's put a tally to the bottom. I mean, farmhand for land. If it dies, get it back. Circuit mender into resolve for all the value. Oh God, control. Ooh, aggro. Okay, this should be this should be interesting. I mean, we've beat other aggro decks, but I feel like soldiers might be tougher than Enchantress for our deck. Enchantress! Enchantress went well, but that was in large part because... That was in large part because we had access to um, an Elishnorn that just pretty much turned off our opponent's entire deck. Elishnorn not gonna do that against soldiers. Soldiers, I don't think, cares about Elishnorn like at all. Resolute reinforcements. Well, hopefully our opponent doesn't have a lord. A lord would be annoying. We'd like to actually be able to trade this farmhand for a creature here. Lord. All right. And a Skrelv. I think we gotta take it this turn. Yeah, this is not looking great. Ossification. Get rid of the veteran. No attacks. All right, no more lords, no more lords. Chill with the payoff, soldiers. I'm starting to think Sniper is actually just like a decent card now that no one plays. It's really good in our deck, but if you squint hard enough, it's kind of Bone Crusher Giant at home when you really think about it. Like you can discard it for two more mana or you can play it for four mana and get the damage out of it. Obviously four a lot more than three. You don't get the same curve as Bone Crusher Giant, but really if Bone Crusher Giant was like one of the best creatures in its standard format, I gotta think that Twin Shot is at least decent, right? It should be better than everyone forgot it exists. Like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone play this in Standard. Plus, Channel is uncounterable. You can discard an instant speed, which I am now saying correctly because of another year without rotation. I don't know how this is going wrong, but we are snapping off this block on Recruitment Officer Zephyr Sentinel. Why did they, oh, do they have a counter? That's actually awkward. Well, uh, Sniper. Wow, they really did have it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's real, real bad now. Okay, now I think we are probably dead. If they didn't have the make disappear, I think we had stabilized. But now it's gonna be very hard to get back in this one. Yeah, that make disappear, pretty good. Oh, and that's, we no, that was off the top. That's also very good. Knight Aaron of Eos. Oh dear. Fairy Mastermind, which isn't even a soldier, but okay. And another Zephyr Spirit. So if we play Elish Norn, we block here. This becomes unblockable. If we Circuit Mender, yeah, we're just, we're actually just dead, right? We're straight up dead. Well, I mean, you know what? We're gonna play Elish Norn and see if they know how to kill us. No rotation for a year, no early scoops. How about that? I mean, we should be dead here. If our opponent activates Skrelv on Recruitment Officer, we die. Or activates it on Nightmare and Avios, we die. Like, if they activate Skrelv, we die. They can activate on any number of things and we die. Does our opponent know that they have a Skrelv in their deck? They do, okay. All right, they figured it out. If it wasn't for that make disappear, I think we were good. Well, we'll bring in some removals. I mean, this might be this might be a tough matchup. It might be a tough matchup. Mom is more okay. It's not even like fully soldiers, is it? It's just like soldiers, but also some rogues and some scrubs. Soldiers plus random cards I own. 
We might have to cut a Nahiri's Resolve in this matchup. Against a super aggro deck like Soldiers, Nahiri's Resolve can be tough to get going just because it becomes difficult to... It becomes difficult to blink our board. It's hard to find a window where we can blink our board and, and not die on the backswing. So we gotta like do it on hard mode and try to like blink a creature or like first take care of our opponent's creatures. So I do have a healthy fear of Soldiers, so... Yeah, all right. Sounds good if we resolve things. Decent, at least. I mean, I think Lithomancer's Barrage is just a new sideboard staple in post ban format. Really good against Soldiers, good against Esper. Probably decent against Ardak. Like, I think this is just going to be one of the best sideboard cards. Well, tap, land, go. Question is, do we run out Spirited Companion, or do we try to... Regroupment Officer. Yeah, I mean, I think we do... We could do nothing and try to early Brotherhood end, but I think just playing a game of magic, trying to get our opponent to extend as much as possible, and then and then getting them with the Brotherhood end is probably our best bet. Valiant veteran looks familiar. Yeah, let's keep waiting. Let's kill the Valiant veteran, play the land, play the Spirited Companion, draw a card. Yeah, let's let's chip in for one. How many lords can they possibly have? Opponent, Edgar Wace. Toski is welcome. That card draw is scary. I'll go to combat, hit ya. Well, now we kind of want an Elish Norn. Play the land, and yeah, I guess we just pass. What do we do about Toski as well? We did not sideboard to beat Toski as welcome. This is another card that I think probably goes way up in value now that Invoke's gone. Like, this is just the kind of card you really couldn't play before, but now it might actually be a pretty good sideboard option, especially for a deck like Soldiers. Wow, just passing? Okay, they must be flashing stuff in. Well, Cycle's not Mir uh, Jet Mirror's Garden. More, so many Spirited Companions. All the Spirited Companions. Well, play a Spirited Companion. Draw a card. What are we doing over there, Bonnet? All right. Ooh, wow, that's that is a good card. Should we should we be able to resolve it? Which is not a given. Ambitious farm hand. Continue the train of one ones. Like, there's a world where we Itali and then blink Itali, and it's like the best thing that we've ever done. Boom. Take one from the dog. Uh, Bonnet resolute reinforcements gets to draw a card because Itoski is welcome. Yes, welcome's gonna be a problem. And a Zephyr Sentinel. All right, so that's what our opponent was trying to set up. Wow, it's even better. I don't even know if it's fair. Is our opponent even soldiers? Or are they just like a flash deck? I don't even flash soldiers. I don't even know what to think of our opponent's deck, but Toski is welcome seems ridiculous in our opponent's deck. Like, not only are they able to trigger on their turn, but with all this flash stuff, there's a pretty good chance they're drawing two extra cards each turn, which is really really good frighteningly good now well, let's combat thresher and you know they got counters you know they got counters so i don't actually have very high hopes that our that our Italian is going to resolve resolute reinforcements to draw a card yeah i think this is essentially just Toski was welcome winning our opponent uh winning our opponent the game problem is they can also do this to put counters on everything yeah touch of spirit realm i think we're in desperation mode essentially we're getting out card advantage at the moment by this Toski is welcome this might get the counter out of their hand although if it does yeah okay there's counter number one pass the turn and do we just die here to this lord being exiled resolute reinforcements draws a card i mean our opponent's also drawn a lot of resolute reinforcements and flash creatures opponent goes to combat gets in with the flyer well one two three four five six seven eight one two three four so we can't like this that's four one two three so we're taking four five six seven eight nine ten i guess if we play the farm hand so i think we have to brotherhood end the question is can we attack first because right, again we're worried about counters counters seem very likely we're not gonna attack first if they counter it there's some chance we stay alive there's some chance we stay alive by chumping for a turn i mean pay for make disappear protect the negotiators or a sideboard negate or something gets us we can even pay for our opponent sacking a creature to make disappear Okay, opponent just gonna recruitment officer. The bad news about this is I'm not even sure that we 
are in a good position from here. <laughs> like, we just got the Wrath, but this Toskia's Welcome has been so good for our opponent. They're about to pull ahead in cards at this point. And we've played a lot of Spirited Companions, and we've cycled, and I think they do have a counter. I think they have Make Disappear opponent. Zephyr Sentinel draws a card. Yeah, this Atali is not gonna, not gonna resolve. Uh, we'll play a land. Keep on farming. Grab a planes. Play of planes. Yeah, no, no attacks. There's so many flash creatures How about it. Zephyr Sentinel number three to draw another card. <laughs> so this is actually almost like a combo. They can just keep keep looping these. Well, I think they're gonna give up on that. What? That last one didn't make much sense. That last one didn't do anything, but yeah, our opponents definitely got all the card draw. Hits us down to eight. Zephyr Sentinel again, picks up the Zephyr Sentinel, draws another card. Yeah, I mean, this is 1 million percent Toski is welcome. A straight up Toski is welcome win. I mean, I guess the good news is standard's pretty, standard's pretty new at the moment. Um, yeah, we're just gonna, the good news is standard's pretty new at the moment. Like we have answers for this in our sideboard. We just didn't really know this was what our opponent's deck was trying to do. So I can't believe it worked, but it is. <laughs> like this Toski is welcome. I've never seen it go off this much before, but boy, did it go off. And there's a make disappear that we knew about. Sacking the Zephyr Sentinel and plays another Zephyr Sentinel and draws another card. Maybe we need, maybe we need invoke unbanned. Unbanned invoke despair, Toski is welcome, too good. <laughs> Unban invoke Watsy, come on now. What do you think? Maybe we need a better invoke. There's not enough colors with enchantment removal. That's the problem. We need to give mono blue enchantment removal because every color should be able to destroy Toskia's welcome. Yeah, I mean we're we're fighting the good fight, but our opponent has just drawn way too many cards for, for any of our actions to really have an impact at this point. Circuit Mender, well, play the land. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, this would be cool, but I don't think it's resolving. Is this even soldiers? Is I mean, I guess you're playing the Lord. It's like a hybrid of soldiers and flash, but whatever it is, it really maximizes uh, Toskia's welcome pretty impressively. Spell Pierce, we will pay. And the well, opponent just has every counter in existence over there. Come on, no, no creatures, no creatures. If our opponent's out of creatures, we oddly have a weird shot here. If they have creatures to keep drawing, which I assume they don't, our chance is if this resolves, we play Circuit Mender. This gives us the, it gives us some life. It also gives us the proper powers to be able to flip these farm hands, which is actually a pretty huge swing. I mean, now, now we're gaining, if this works, we're gaining, wow, okay. Wait, is there a chance we win this? Oh, yeah, that's what we wanted to not see. Creature draws two, and it's a creature that draws. Activates. Frontliner. What? <laughs> <laughs> How is that possible? How did we win that game? My goodness. I mean, I'm glad I didn't scoop, I guess. I, I literally do not know what to say. I, I'm at a loss for words at how we possibly won that. We did, like it's, it happened. It is true, we actually did win it. Our opponent was in such an amazing, amazingly dominant position. Somehow, some way, I guess our opponent must have just drawn too many counters. That is, I guess the drawback of counters is, especially soft counters like Spell Pierce and Make Disappear is eventually, eventually they don't work anymore. And that's what we kind of saw there. Eventually we were able to pay for the Spell Pierces and stuff. I think we want the Lorenz. We are already having a hard time cutting last game ossification out maybe lay down arms or like combat thresher do we need combat thresher yeah maybe one circuit mender let's try it let's try it like that well now at least we have some way to get rid of a of a toski is welcome which i take it all back <laughs> i thought that was a toski is welcome win but didn't end up being a win at all for our opponent somehow this hand i actually kind of like this hand is sweet 
We got the snipers that can kill stuff early if we need to. Also, a sniper gets around Thalia, which is sweet. So, but we can kill stuff early with uh, with snipers. We can answer the Toski as welcome, which is huge. Eventually, extraction specialists might do things. You got a flash creature. You got a little flash creature. Got a resolute reinforcements, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess there's no reason to kill this yet, right? They can't activate it. Well, you know what? There is a reason, which is that flash return things to your hand, dork. All right, kill the kill the mastermind. Yeah, we don't want him to Zephyr Sentinel it back in response. That would be less than ideal. We would love our opponent to just go land Toski as welcome here. That would be that would be the dream. All right, they do not. Well, okay. Play the land past the turn. If they played the Toski as welcome, we could just lure in it. Oh, opponent. We got the Nahiri's resolve. I don't know how we get it to resolve against this deck. <laughs> so many, so many counters. It's gonna gonna be tough. If we do get it down though, it should be really good. Like that's that's our Toski as welcome. Everyone's on the enchantment plan. Now the invoke's gone. Everyone's everyone's all about the enchantments. Maybe they don't have a land. I don't know what they're thinking about here. Okay, they do have a land. Uh maybe they were trying to decide if they should name soldier <laughs> those tough tough decisions more snipers well play the land and sentinel okay okay opponent goes to combat attacks i think we're gonna take the three we would like to just hard cast so i think our opponent has another zephyr sentinel the way they just the timing of how they played makes me think they have another Ze uh, zephyr sentinel they also could definitely have a counter we would like to just resolve the snipers but i don't know if you have that luxury i think we might have to channel one and then try to resolve the other this is a, if our opponent just plays something here and the coast is clear they do not all right so we will channel going after the zephyr sentinel see if they have another zephyr sentinel all right well they either don't or they didn't use it should we just channel the valiant veteran all right let's untap let's wait play the land play ambitious farmhand the hero the hero of last game grab a planes Pass the turn. I mean, if our opponent doesn't have a Toski as welcome going, I feel like our odds of being able to grind our opponent out go up quite a bit. I guess we didn't even need to grind him out. No Toski as welcome. Opponent scoops. I don't. I mean, I know I early scoop, so I can't really say anything. Unclear what our opponent's hand is that they would need to scoop there though like doesn't it feel like if anything the game's very even right or you could argue our opponents ahead but i guess our we have a better late game deck so yeah well we'll take it sweet sweet new standard time doing some more uh momming nahiri's resolving oh my god as good as a tally is i don't think we can keep six lands a tally our luck may have run out uh yeah five five it is Ossification bottom, mountain bottom. Well, five on the play is not ideal for sure. Although as far as five card hands go, we have all two drops, so we can actually play things. We get to hit our lands, got a bunch of redraws. So at a pretty big disadvantage, but I wouldn't say it's an insurmountable advantage, especially since if we can get, I mean, we have a lot of card advantage, but if we can get into Hero's Resolve going, that can undo a mulligan pretty quickly. I think that's what we want to find the most. Just like play some dorks, get Nahiri's to resolve going. Our opponent might also have a lot of card advantage. <laughs> if they're playing five color, yeah, maybe it's just Naya. We'll see. Invasion of, oh, it's dragon spicy. Five color dragons. All right, all right, all right. Now play the land, spirited companion. Draw Jetmere's Gardens. I mean, I think it's mostly Nahiri's resolve to start blinking stuff and drawing cards. Opponent, Tapland. Go to combat. Hit you for one. Do we even play? Yeah, I guess we do. Let's run out the sniper. I mean, I guess the other option is just try to be aggro. <laughs> we have an ossification in hand, so maybe, maybe we can try to just temple him out. Although our opponent is at 17. Invasion of Zendik, yeah. All right. I imagine an Itali might be coming. Even more lands. We'll play the land, go to combat, hit ya. Down to 14. Yeah, run out the sniper. Oh, Nahiri's resolve would be spectacular here. Pony goes to 12. No Italis. Also no, like, farewells or whatever. All will be one. Okay. 
things. A spirited companion, sure, sure, sure. Okay, so opponents playing like all will be one battles, I guess. So their battles are gonna be a lot of damage now. It's really sweet to see people being, uh, just like trying new things. This is stuff that you did not see a week ago in standard, like pre-bannings. Neither one of us could be playing our decks because of invoke, invoke despair. Like they just would not work. Yeah, we might not, maybe we won't be able to dig out of our six card hand. Although, Nihiri's Resolve might steal it. Opponent passes, oh, it's a land. Well, okay, cycle. Yeah, we're gonna lose our board here pretty quick. I guess we could also draw into like a one of our Italies or something. Maybe we should have kept seven land Itali. Okay, Spirited Companion, draw a card. All right, all the, all the Spirited Companions will get in hit you. Down to eight. Pass the turn, but our opponent's untapping with all will be one, which is really not good. Our opponent can start shooting down creatures just with Blast Zone if they don't have anything else. I guess they can also like use Blast Zone to flip their battles, which is kind of cute. Like add a bunch of counters, flip Invasion of Zendikar, eventually flip the Tarkir. They could flip Invasion of Zendikar and get Tarkir to one. All with Blast Zone. All will be one is a ridiculous card. Oh, jeez. Um. <clears throat> Invasion of Ergamon, and it all will be one. Gonna shoot down a sniper. All of this is pretty sorcery speed though. Like if we if we could actually find the Harry's resolve, it might get around this. Top fire of resistance. Yeah, now it's just too late though. Well, Pwn's going off with all will be one. And takes it up, gets a mountain, kills Spirited Companion. Yeah, Mold of Five's tough. Mold of Five's, that is a, that is a tough one. Jetmir's Garden, well, I mean, we're pretty much uh, the scoop stage here. Even if we draw Nahiri's Resolve. Yeah, not getting out of this. On to game number two, where hopefully we will start with a few more cards in hand. Well, bring in stuff that can destroy all will be one. I wonder if there's any argument for stone braining. How dependent, they seem pretty in on all will be one. Let's, you know, let's try it. Let's give it a go. I think it might actually be worth it. Twin Shot Sniper didn't seem ideal. It didn't seem like our opponent had many early game creatures. Circuit Mender, maybe a Thrasher. Elishnorn seems hilarious against our opponent's deck. It doesn't be, it doesn't beat a all will be one, but it seems like it beats pretty much everything else. Maybe one touch the spear realm. Let's try it like that. All right. Well, at least now we have answers to all will be one, which that combined with <laughs> starting with no cards was uh, was kind of the issue with the last game. All right. We get to play first and well, we'll keep this. A lot of lands, but spirited companions, pretty good. Planes go. Uh, opponent. Tap land. Even more lands. All right. Well, spirited companion. Woof, woof. Oh no. All right, so it's gonna be one of these games where we draw all the lands. Well, if we ever draw like Italies and Elishorns, we should be able to cast them. That's the that's a little bit of good news with the, the Flood of the Century opponent. Invasion of Urgamon. This card, Storm the Festival, draws a card. Well, there's an Aries Resolve. I'll go to combat hit ya. Nahiri's Resolve does kind of want some creatures on the battlefield though. Opponent Mountain and Tapiri Stomper. Well, Cycle Jamir's Gardens. All right, Ambitious Farmhand. I mean, so I guess we can, we can answer the Stomper. So play the land. I mean, this isn't the worst. So we get to Ossification Tapiri Stomper. Get rid of that. Ambitious Farmhand. Grab even more lands. And this sets us up for Nihiri's Resolve next turn to hopefully start blinking everything. And if our bump plays all will be one, we have the, the clean answer in Lauren. Opponent, land. All will be one. Well, unfortunately, I think this means we need to take a turn off of doing cool things. All we want is a really scary card in our opponent's deck. Eh, sorry, opponent. <laughs> We're not just gonna let you kill all of our stuff with all we want. We gotta, we gotta at least try to put up a fight. Ooh, that is brutal though. Oh, if we had the resolve down, it would have, it would have gotten around all of that. Riveteer's requisitioner. Opponent goes attacking. Yeah, Brother Sudan was a blowout. Oh, jeez. Cycle. Extraction Specialist is not bad, though. Extraction Specialist, get back Spirited Companion. Draw a card. Even more lands. Well, next turn, do we get to start doing the Heroes Resolve stuff? 
Jeez, all will be one. Well, okay. Nahiri's resolve. Play the land, hit ya. This should help at least. So we get to blink everything. So the all will be one can't shoot down our creatures. That's something at least. Opponent invasion of Zendika. All will be one. Oh, all will be one can't flip battles. Interesting. Oh, that's a that's a little bit of good news. All right, our stuff returns. We draw a card. We extraction specialist farm hand. We could use something big. A big creature just lets us win here, I think, because everything has haste. That's other upside. Oh, speaking of big creatures. Well, 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 mountain, a tally. That is a big creature. And that, I think, might be a dead opponent. A tally. Spin it to win it. Uh, oh, my goodness. Boring clacks. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a dead opponent. <laughs> and we actually have forest because of the two tri... Because of the triumphs. Get the triumphs. Snipe ya. Kill ya. And that is Nihiri's resolve. Showing its power. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, yeah, here, here they come. I mean, if they blow up the resolve, they don't die now. All right. So, opponent pitches besage you. So, that is annoying. That is annoying. That means our opponent is is alive. And our hand is very land heavy. All right, opponent, can you answer our entire board? I mean, I don't think all will be one can kill this much stuff. Oh, that Besage was, that was a good answer. Oh, we were gonna have such a sweet attack there. Stealing the Vorinclex. Oh, and here is your salve is sweet. Koth, okay. Hits a tally. Takes up Koth. Are they getting a mountain in another brothers at end? That would actually be kind of absurd. That would put us down to just a Vorinclex. Wow. Boy, we are just short of lethal. Cycle Jamir's Gardens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's still a bit away from flashing backstorm the festival. All right, let's let's do it this way. Let's ossification. Get rid of the cough. Hit you with Vorinclex. Pass the turn. Can you kill the Vorinclex? Wow, opponent finds an Itali. Spins into Invasion of Tarkir, an ambitious farmhand. All right, that could be worse. Hits the Vorinclex, kills the Vorinclex. Yup. Ambitious farmhand. Wow, is there a chance we still lose from here? That would be that would be disappointing. All right, cycle Jamir's garden. Wait, does that do it? One, two, three, four, one, two. I think that does do it. I think we can double. All right, even more lands, but that's fine. Play the land. I think this works. We play the land. Twin shot sniper. Hit you for two. Soul partition. Twin shot sniper. Replay it. Hit you for two. <laughs> and if this is what new standards like, it is gonna be awesome. That's probably a little bit, a little bit optimistic to hope that it remains this way. But we've been playing against so many really different, super cool decks. Like that would be pretty, that would be pretty spectacular if this is really how the format ended up. We are on the draw for game number three. No Nahiri's resolve, but lots of early game stuff, which is nice. And in here he's resolve. All right, now this is kind of like almost ideal. Fun to play the land. And we have an answer to all will be one, which is huge. Invasion of Ergobon. Opponent gonna make a treasure, pitch in a tally, sure, sure, sure. Play the land. Uh and a spirited companion, draw a card. I guess Koth here, I was gonna say, would be a little scary. Topiary Stomper, getting the ramp on. Well, ambitious farmhand, grab a plains. Do we play a Jamir's Garden? One, two, three. Yeah, let's play one more. Play a Jamir's Garden. Pass the turn. Again, we're kind of hoping for an all will be one <laughs> so we can blow it up. If our opponent doesn't play an all will be one, I don't know what we're doing next turn. Cycling? <laughs> not, not great. All right, there's all will be one. That's what we were hoping for. Well, Lauren, blow up the all will be one. And pass the turn. Wow, the Nahiri resolve next turn would be pretty good. Invasion of Tarkir. Land. 
Rivet here's requisitioner goes attacking. Well, we got a block, unfortunately. Actually, let's block with Spirited Companion. So opponent draws a card, and gets a treasure. All right, another Ergamon. But opponents almost, they're pretty much out of cards, right? Okay, they discard, so they just have a random card in hand. We get to Extraction Specialist. Get back Spirited Companion, draw a card, play a land, pass the turn. Hopefully they didn't draw into like an Itali or something. Land. We could kill it. Double block and kill it. It's probably worth it, right? Yeah, let's... All right, what's that last card? Kinker Bloom. I guess that's a good answer to Nahiri's Resolve. Oh, we have so many cards in hand and our opponent has none. But we know our opponent has some pretty good draws. I guess so do we, but... Spirited Companion draw a card. We do have to answer this before we play Resolve now. Even more lands. Play the battlefield for it to pass the turn. Opponent. All right, Cycles Proving Grounds. And Invasion of Zendikar. Keep thin in the deck, keep thin in the deck. The question is gonna be who draws something big first, I guess. Or can we find an answer for the Kanker Bloom? I guess we can play Nahiri's Resolve and let it die. It just feels... Bad passing. What a wild game. All right, cycle Jemir's Gardens. Please, non lands. Elish Norn would be great. Ooh. All right, play Stone Brain. I think we go with Tally first. Primal Conqueror. They're only playing one. All right, let's see. Storm the Festival. Two more All Will Be Ones. Avorin Clex. They are pretty all in on All Will Be One, aren't they? All right, get rid of the Tally. Get rid of the tally. So the next one, I guess we would just name Storm the Festival. So a tally's down. Play the land. Oh, if we can get rid of this Kinker Bloom. Opponent cycles. All will be one. Opponent passes even more lands. Well, okay, Lauren. Blow up the all will be one. <laughs> Stone Braid. Storm the festival. Opponent's not gonna have many, many good cards left in their deck after this. All right, storm the festivals. One, two, three, four. So they really need, they don't have too many finishers left. The problem is we're not, oh, we're not really doing much. We need to answer the canker bloom so we can hear his resolve and start drawing cards. We could still lose to like Anissa. We have taken our opponent's finishers, but Anissa could still come down and get us opponent on taps. I was wondering if they're gonna proliferate in response, but they didn't. We could soul partition just to resolve for a turn. Yeah, let's let's each draw. Oh my god, even more lands. All right, soul partition. Bounce the canker bloom. Nahiri's resolve. Go attacking. Blink it off. So I'm sure our opponent's gonna replay Kanker Bloom and blow up Nihiri's Resolve, but at least we get to draw two. Yeah, there's a Kanker Bloom. And then we got rid of the Kanker Bloom, so hopefully we find something else. I mean, they gotta. There's no way. This is our all will be one. What all will be one is to our opponent. Nihiri's Resolve is does. Our opponent blows it up, sure. All right, that's our opponent's best card. There is the Nissa. Gonna start making big dorks. Well, okay. We get to draw some cards. Actually, you know what? Play, play a tally. Oh, ossification's huge, 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 huge. Ossification, invasion of Zendikar. Get a couple, that might do it. And now we have gotten rid of the Nissa. And our opponent does not have a lot of finishers left. Grab a planes. And this next Nahiri's Resolve is going to be, it's going to be the one. That is the one. That is the one that is the one about it. Invasion of Zendikar. Sure. I guess we do want to keep the battles from flipping. Last card is Brotherhood N. I mean, I guess we make our opponent... I guess we make our opponent chump. This is the boring way, but if we play the Nihiri's Resolve and blink a tally, they do get to attack, flip an Ergamon, get another battle, and then who knows what happens? But this does make our opponent get rid of this 8-8. Our opponent's best bet is probably... It's probably to tick up Blast Zone, blow up Ossification, get back Nissa. Yeah. Unclear if that'll be enough. 
because we do have the indestructible Itali. All right, here comes the Nezza. So opponent's gonna run it back. Wow, that blew up a lot of their battles too. All right, opponent gets a Nissa. Makes the Nissa dork. Passes. Well, I mean, this will just slowly eat away our, our opponent's Nissa. Opponent has to block. Get some poison. Spirited companion. Draw a card. Twin shot sniper. Hit your face. Nahiri's Resolve. Roadside Reliquary Sack It. Blink them all. All right, opponent. All right, opponent. What do you got? Invasion of Ergamon. Could we have won there? We might have been able to win there, actually. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about winning. I was thinking about generating value. Ooh. They get to flip a Zendikar. Okay. Flips a Zendikar. What a, this has been a really interesting game. If standard could stay like this forever, it would be, it would be heaven. All right, blows up the resolve, but there's bad news for our opponent, which is we got a lot of stuff coming back. Uh, Spirited Companion draw a card, Twin Blade Sniper, hit our opponent. Spin into, oh God, all will be one in Elishnorn. <laughs> mom is here, mom is here. Ossification, trigger, trigger, Skyclave Nissa. And then I guess the safe thing to do is just flip this, even though we can't attack with it. Run out the farm hand. Trigger, trigger. Who's the all will be one deck now? You blew up our Nahiri's resolve opponent. <laughs> so we had to we had to steal your all will be one. Vorinclex, not going to trigger. Riveteer's requisition. Well, all right, let's let's put an end to this. Finish him. Ossification, ossification. And here comes the attack. And that is how you Nahiri's resolve. And this deck is pretty sweet. Oh, well, this deck might actually be kind of good. I'm coming around to the, this deck might be good idea. New standards looking sweet, sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about Nahiri's resolve in standard and our new post band standard format? And I gotta say, the deck worked way better than I thought. Uh, we went in our video matches five and oh, although altogether I've played nine matches with the deck and I'm seven and two between Mythic and Platinum. It started off at Mythic and then the season reset happened, got bumped back down to Platinum. Uh, but the deck is actually winning a lot. It actually seems pretty competitive. And more importantly, the Nahiri's resolve plan really, really worked. I was super impressed by Nahiri's resolve and its ability to stay on the battlefield. Invoke justice being gone is a huge, huge deal. And I think people were like kind of wondering during banning season, like, is it even worth it? Do we have to ban Invoke Despair? And I think this deck shows that the answer was clearly yes. I think it shows how much Invoke Despair was keeping out of the format. There's a lot of really sweet enchantments like this. Another one is like All Will Be One or Spirit Sisters Call. These enchantments that are really interesting and powerful, but they cost like five or six mana and they got to stick out in the battlefield. And you just could not even consider building decks around them when everyone was playing Invoke Despair. But now with Invoke on, sure, sometimes we still lose Nahiri's Resolve. There's still times when our opponent has a Lauren or has enchantment removal or whatever, that's gonna happen. And that's awesome and that's perfectly fine. That's how magic should work. But we no longer 50% of the time are facing a deck that has this main deckable busted card that's gonna like blow up our Nihiri's Resolve if we play it. If we choose not to play it, it's gonna punish us by hitting us for a ton of damage and drawing cards. So I think getting rid of Invoke Despair actually opens up a ton of possibilities in this format. This deck and a bunch more cool decks that hopefully we play in coming days and coming weeks. Uh, the other card that really impressed me, and I think might be a sleeper for our new standard format, is Elish Norn Mother of Machines. So Elish Norn, sure there's some matchups where it's not ideal, but we also got to see it absolutely just wrecks less knee enchantments all by itself. We played Mom, and it just pretty much shut down our opponent's deck. They couldn't kill it because they're trying to like Ossification and Leyline Binding. Mom's also really good against a Tally. It's pretty good against the Ramp deck, especially if we can use Touch the Spirit Realm to protect it. The Ramp decks have uh, sweepers like Sunfall or whatever. They can get rid of Elish Norn, but if we can dodge those, Mom is really good. It shuts down a Tally, it shuts down a Troxa, it shuts down Leyline Binding. So I think Elish Norn might be one 
one of those cards in our new format that might be worth reevaluating. It might actually be in a place where you can definitely build decks around it now, but I think you also might even be able to just play it as a hate card in some matchup. So I think it's worth reconsidering Elish Norn. The rest of the deck, it's just super synergistic. We got to see like so many cards being drawn. Twin Shot Sniper is actually like really good and no one plays that. I don't know why people haven't woken up to that card in the last two years or whatever it's been legal and standard, but all around really happy with how the deck turned out. It's really fun. It's different. It's built around a card that you just really couldn't play before the banning. So if you're looking for something different to do with standard, that's super fun, super ETB heavy, super Panharmonicon-y. If you like Panharmonicon decks, you're going to love playing this deck and seems to be pretty competitive. I would definitely recommend Nahiri's Resolve. So anyway, that's Nahiri's Resolve. That's been our deck for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you soon.